Hi everyone, welcome back to Bailey Kesar YouTube channel. Today we are going to break down a question I get asked all the time how can I get started in the IT industry? So, if you are feeling lost or don't know where to begin, and don't worry, I got you covered. Okay, so we will go step by step and I will make it super simple. So, first thing is first, why IT industry? Why should I? choose IT industry rather than other private sectors or any other government related jobs. The tech industry is booming with jobs that offer a great pay, tons of growth opportunities and flexibility. And the best part, there are so many different paths you can choose from like software development, data science, full stack engineer, data analyst, uh, front end developer, UI and UX designer and cyber security, cloud engineer, what not. Many types of job roles are available based on your nature skills and your based on your interest you can choose in the software industry. So the first is very important if you are a non-computer science graduate candidate. Even computer science graduate also is important just listen. Okay, uh, you have to know, so you have to know what is programming, what is coding, Okay, what is software? How many types of software are there? How many types of programming languages are there? How to know what is SDLC, software development life cycle? How many types of project methods are available like a B model, waterfall model? Okay, you have to know these basic concepts to learn any uh, software course guys. So the first tip is very important. You have to know some basic or fundamental concept and some internet concepts. You will get some confidence. And the second step is you can learn either C programming language or Python programming language. So based on your interest. But I highly recommend you, you can learn C programming language up to arrays concept. Arrays and functions concept, up to functions concept. Okay. And then you can start to learn Python programming language. So once you know C programming language basic concepts, then Python makes you easy to learn. Of course, you can directly start to learn Python programming language also because it's really easy to understand the concepts. Next step is you have to know how the data is stored in databases and, who, and how we can manage that data. That means you have to learn SQL SQL concept because most jobs in IT involve working with the data okay so SQL is the language for managing data in the database and it is pretty easy to learn if you do daily practice of 15 to 30 minutes that's enough within 30 days or 20 days you can easily learn SQL concept the next thing is you have to learn even if you are beginner you have to know git concepts git might sounds like a strange term but it is basically a tool that lets you track and save changes in your code you might need to learn git tutorial on youtube platform because there are number of uh, git tutorials are available I'm adding git add command and a git commit command and a git push command to get started your career now it's the time to pick up your favorite or your interested software course some people very interested to build the applications by doing coding that means i hope you understand like full stack developer java developer backend developer node.js developer whatever coding whatever coding jobs are available you can choose them uh, and some people are very interested to do some data analysis part and some pattern related jobs that means uh, you can choose either power bi developer data analyst data engineer data science like these jobs you can choose and some people are interested to do some IT support related jobs and some people are interested uh, security related jobs, cyber security related jobs. So based on your interest, you can choose the course. After learning any specific course, whatever you interested course, do some small projects. Suppose if you know Python and SQL, do some small project like uh, uh, calculator projects, to-do list projects. Then you will get some knowledge, some practical knowledge. Whatever you learn, some theoretical concepts, you get some practical knowledge. Uh, and next tip is very important. Even if you are fresher, you can start a portfolio on GitHub. So it's a great way to showcase your progress and projects, even if they are small. Just make a GitHub account and start uploading anything you have done. And next tip is after building a portfolio, then you have to do, or uh, then you have to improve your network. Okay, so then you may have doubt where I can improve my network. So you can join LinkedIn, Reddit communities. Okay, there are so many people out there sharing free resources and advice. 
so and it is a great way to stay motivated and also you might make connection that help you uh, land your first job as well finally start applying don't wait until you are an expert entry level jobs and internships are designed to help you grow but remember one thing guys learning takes time so don't rush Just so if you enjoyed this video hit the like button and for more updated and latest technical videos and let me know in the comments what it field you are interested in so thanks for watching i will see you in the next video